ALS was the first neurological disease discovered. And what happens in this disease is that people lose the function of their arm or their foot, and it keeps spreading until where they can no longer move a single muscle in their body, and they can only communicate by blinking their eyes. The protein that causes the disease carries a copper atom in it. Our research showed that a lot of the protein was missing copper, so a natural experiment to try was to get copper into the brain. The problem is that copper is quite toxic and the brain does everything it can to keep copper concentrations very low. So the compound we tested is unique in that it delivers copper very effectively into the brain. One might think you could treat the disease by just taking copper supplements, but that would be a mistake. Copper is very toxic and it does not get into the brain and it's not going to help. We're really excited about the prospects of moving this drug into human trials. The response in the animals has a lot of people shocked and in disbelief because no one's been able to develop a drug that's this effective in 20 years. One never knows if it's really going to work in a human being. There's a lot of safety issues and a lot of other considerations, but we're working through those at this point and working as hard as we can to be able to get this into human patients, hopefully within the next few months. We're working with a company called Procipa to get this drug into the uh, clinical trials through safety and talking with clinicians about how to properly do these studies. We're also investigating different modifications to the drug that may make it work better and other ways that might make it even safer or more effective. We've made huge gains in the past 20 years of understanding what causes the disease, and that lets us find new ways to treat it. I'm just enormously excited that we've stumbled upon one approach that worked far better than we dared hope, and I'm praying that it will translate into human studies.